Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom and we are going to be dining at one of the highest rated restaurants in all of Walt Disney World, Tiffin's. This restaurant's central theming is all about exploration and adventure, so I'm sure we're going to be trying some very interesting food items and then later on we're going to park hop over to Epcot to go check out Joey Fatone because he has special guests with him and Murr from Impractical Jokers is one of them. Anywho's let's go do this today is august 7th and i wanted to come out to the parks a little bit later in the afternoon it has been super hot out august is a very hot month in florida and like i always say animal kingdom i feel like is the hottest park we're gonna be meeting up with some friends and like I said before, we're gonna be dining at Tiffin's. I have eaten here before and it was always amazing. It is definitely a signature Disney restaurant and I'm gonna try something different this time and then maybe afterwards, we're gonna see if we can ride some rides or if we have time beforehand, maybe hop on a ride or two. I mean, I just love coming to Animal Kingdom. Right here is Tiffin's Restaurant, and it's located right next to Nomad Lounge. It's actually together, so Nomad Lounge is like the lounge for Tiffin's, and they have a little bit of a preview of the menu. And like I said, this menu was so amazing, and my favorite thing has to be this Lion King dessert. Look at that. It's so beautiful looking. Now, this is just a little bit of the menu. They have so much more in there, but I'm excited. This is one of my favorite restaurants. Last night, I was actually at Epcot and I watched Joey Fatone's show, but I was just hanging out with friends and it was so cool that Murr came out and I got to meet Joey Fatone. I got to meet a member of NSYNC. I got to meet a member of the Impractical Jokers. We took photos together. They're on my Instagram stories if you guys want to check it out. But he had so many other friends there. Ryan Cabrera, like I was like, I was in heaven. It was such a great show that it inspired me to come back out and do it again the next day and bring you guys along. So I can show you because it, it really was uh, such a great time. Let's take a look at some of the wait times and see how busy the park is. It looks like uh, Flight of Passage is only a 65 minute wait. Navi was 45 minutes. Cali River Rapids is a 60 minute wait, which is kind of shocking. Dinosaurs, 30 minutes. Expedition Everest is 30 minutes. That's not too bad. These are actually very decent wait times. Kilimanjaro Safaris, only a 20 fin 25 minute wait. It looks like we might have enough time to actually head over to Kilimanjaro Safaris and go on a safari before we sit down and eat at Tippins. And I'm excited, like our reservation is at 550, so uh, it being a 25 minute wait, you can't pass that up. You know, a little safari, a little dinner, a little Joey Fatone. I feel like that sounds like a perfect night. Look at that. You can't beat a 25 minute wait for Kilimanjaro Safaris. So we're going to head right on in. And it's probably not even a 25 minute wait. Sometimes it's like a walk on and they still say 25 minutes. We I love coming to Kilimanjaro Safaris at this time because usually it's feeding time and the animals are way more active. Now, I have to point out though, this usually closes down before the park does. I think the last safari goes out at 7.30. So if you come anywhere after 5, it's usually the best time to come, I, in my experiences. So hopefully we have a good safari. Up oh, and here comes our trusty motor transportation for the day. Looks like it's Simba 1. Alrighty, for my Sean, have we ever rode Kilimanjaro's together? Yes, we have. We have? Yeah. Okay, then he knows about the Bontabak. We've been stuck here for a little bit and it is super hot. Like without any airflow, right? You're feeling it, huh? Oh, yeah. The humidity is very sticky today. Oh, we're moving. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that breeze. And let's make sure that we aren't making any loud noises at the animals, like whistling, clapping, or calling out to them, as this is their home that we are entering into. And we do not want to frighten them. Located above, see all of them, but we usually have to say black rhino. Oh, wow, look at that rhino right there eating food. <gasps> look at that. It definitely looks like it's feeding time. Perfect time for a safari. Pink-backed pelicans. Their pink coloration comes to them during mating season. They've got a wingspan of about seven to nine feet long. Looks like we're getting a little bit of a rain shower here. Oh, look at the giraffe! There's also some Hartman's Mountain Zebras on the right side. Wow, look at that. Oh, the rain's coming in though. They're running though. Look at them, they're just standing there chilling. 
It's dinner time and it's raining. Oh, the water. Oh, I got wet. <laughs> about rainy safaris is that elephants love the rain. Elephants love the rain. Ooh, I'm getting soaked. <laughs> oh. Seriously, this is the best. Look at the baby rhino. There is a rhino in the mud right there. Look at that. So yeah, that was a great safari. I don't know how much of the footage I could show you guys because it was super rainy and very bouncy because they were trying to like get us through there, but all the animals were out. I saw everybody. The rhino though, the baby rhino digging a hole in the mud will last with me forever. That was the highlight of it. It was amazing. I'm so happy. Now, let's head to Tiffin's. Let's go get some food. And also, I'm excited for the coffee at Tiffin's. The coffee there is next level. Only sold there only at Tiffin's. And here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready for my first Tiffin's experience. Yeah, first Tiffin's experience. I heard Joe Rody's going to be here. That's what they told me. Oh, yeah, oh, you know what? Joe Rody does eat here sometimes. Oh, he does with Yeah, he does uh, dining with Imagine. Your first time at Tiffin's too, right? My first time. Are you guys going to get the Lion King dessert? Ooh, uh, it's so Lion pretty. King dessert at Chico. Yeah, this Lion King one is like the Lion King itself and it has like the little Simba on it. You know what I mean? You know, like, out? yeah, Simba. They do that on your forehead? Yeah, they come out and they do it. They put chunks. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Just like Kristen mentioned, this restaurant used to offer dining with an Imagineer. And that was a special event where you get to come in and dine with an Imagineer. And Joe Rody used to be uh, one of the Imagineers here. And it's funny because this restaurant is based off of Joe Rody and the other creative people behind Disney's Animal Kingdom. There's tons of photos on their journeys. The dining rooms are split up between Africa, Asia, and then animals, and it's basically kind of just made to show off all of the amazing things that they did as they were going around getting information to build the park, and I love that. And Joe Rody's known for Animal Kingdom, but he had such an influence on some of the best rides at Epcot even. He did Maelstrom, and he was even Dreamfinder. He actually was Dreamfinder at one point, so it's really cool, and I love this restaurant. Tiffin's is a restaurant, but it's also a gallery of art based on the travel and adventure that inspired the creation of Disney's Animal Kingdom. And there is a lot of cool things in here, lots of art pieces and pictures. And some of them, there's like a little game where some of them are actually pieces from like Africa and some of them are from Harambe, remember? They're not real, so you have to try to guess which one's real, which one's fake, which one's real and which one's here. That sounds like a game. <laughs> Now that we've made it into the restaurant, we're at our table and we're in the conservation room, which is really, really nice. This is my favorite room. And I'm going to start off by ordering a Indonesian press pot coffee. It's the coffee that I was talking about. And it's very fancy in there, so I had to take the hat off. And we're going to look over the menu and uh, try to decide on what we want to get. Here is a look at the full menu, and I want to get the charred octopus. I love octopus. I'm all about it. They also have a corn and sweet potato soup, which is phenomenal. The butter chicken and the whole fried sustainable fish is a popular one. But for me, I think I'm going to do the surf and turf. A little South African spiced beef tenderloin, seared scallops, potato puree, grilled vegetables, some nice uh, demi-glaze. I'm all about it. Cheers to a little Indonesian press pot coffee. Look at us, so fancy. <laughs> coffee. Pinkies up. Pinkies, Pinkies up. up. Pinkies up. Ooh. It's very hot. Now that we've had our coffee, they do offer a bread service, but they have a complimentary bread service. What is this? It's pomegranate focaccia. It's like a pomegranate oil, and he said to mix the oil. Make sure you mix it, and a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. This sounds, I'm excited to try this. It looks very good. It smells like a sweet bread. A sweet bread. Like, almost like banana bread. Almost. Like sweet baby rays. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Sean does not like the focaccia bread, and I'm a little concerned now, so here we go. 
that's great. I like that a lot. Enough of the bread business. Here is the charred octopus. And we're all gonna share this. And it looks really good. It's got chorizo in there. Uh, just one tentacle. And I'm excited. It looks really good. Good char, uh, especially down on this end there. And I love octopus. Ever since I had it at Mythos, I've been a little bit obsessed. All right, here we go. I'm gonna cut the tentacle. Excellent. There we go. Nice little spot there. I feel like we need to add a little bit of this into there too. Yeah, a little bit of everything on one bite, except for it all fell off. <laughs> I am so excited to try this. It looks so good, and like I said, I love octopus. Oh yeah. This is definitely a little bit adventurous, especially when it comes to the different spices on the bottom. Down here, like the whole entire plate is actually coated in it. Like, this isn't the design of the plate. It's actually all the different African spices on there, and it actually has a very good texture to it. I like, I like I said, I'm, I'm a big fan of it, and the corn salsa is a nice little touch, a touch of corn salsa. This piece right here definitely has a lot more of the char on there, and that's what I like. I, I, you guys know that, I love the char even on my steak. Shortly after we tried the octopus, all of our food came out and Kristen got the lobster mac and cheese and look at all the lobster on top of that. Good chunks of lobster. I'm excited to see where this ranks on yep. the right down Main Street mac and cheese rating. Like, we'll see, everyone told me I needed to try it, so here I am. Well, there we go. And then, Sean, you got the butter chicken over there. That looks oh, yeah. actually really good. Look at that. Very fancy. Very nice. And then I went with the surf and turf and that's the uh the beef right here and then the scallops and also the potato it's one of those potatoes that's like double fried this all looks amazing and i cannot wait to dive into it the octopus itself also has tequila so that's what i was tasting actually as i was uh sampling it a little bit there i was tasting a little bit of the tequila Fun fact, I have never had scallops before. And when I first sat down, I asked if I could sub out the scallops for shrimp because I do love shrimp. And they told me that the scallops were almost the best thing on the menu. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna try something new today. And that's what we're doing. We're gonna try the scallops. All right, here we go. My first reaction to trying scallops. First time ever here. I know what you're having to do. That's amazing. It's like one ear right up here. What? I honestly can't believe I have never tried scallops before. And that was phenomenal. That was way better than the shrimp. That is so good. Now, I really, I'm really worried though because what if my expectations of scallops now is always going to be that right there? at one of the finest restaurants on Walt Disney World property. You know what I mean? It's going to be a high expectation now anytime I ever have scallops again, but that was so good. Just tasting that sear on there, and it has that shrimp texture. I'm a fan. I'm a scallop fan. <laughs> it might be shocking to you guys that I haven't tried scallops before, but I've been a plain eater my whole entire life, and within the past two years, I have been on a mission to try things and expand my palate and it has been fantastic. Like I'm just trying seafood for the first time. I would have never eaten seafood. Like if this was me, like probably four years ago, I probably would have never came to this restaurant. All right, here we go. Cut right down in, get some of that demi glaze. Ooh, this steak looks great. I'm not even gonna lie. Here we go. All about the steak today. Wow. Sometimes the texture. Honestly, I have to say, it's all about the demi glaze. And I couldn't remember what it was, but it's a cola based one. So it's actually like really, really interesting. It's funny that it's on this menu, and I love it. Like that makes the whole entire meal. The steak itself is pretty good. I do like the char on the outside. I wouldn't actually put it up there with like my favorite steaks out there because I feel like this is more for like a higher palate. I'm more of like the meat and potato guys, like, you know what I mean? And this right here is good, but I need some fat, you know? I need the ribeye. The ribeye is where I'm at, but the demi-glaze, if I had that on a ribeye, 
that would have been chef's kiss right there. The issue with this is it's so good, but so small. Like the portions are tiny, but I could eat so much of it and it would cost me a lot of money. Like <laughs> this was, I think $67. So like that is a lot of money, but top notch, top, top notch. Honestly, this meal is actually fire. I mean, everything, like all the components to it, is just so amazing. The potatoes are just out of this world. Look at this. Oh man, the the, the demi glaze, the scallops. Like I'm a big fan. I'm a big big fan. I, like I, like I said, the steak ratings is just out of steaks. But as an overall entree, this ranks pretty high for me. Very high actually. Seriously, that good. Now that we've gotten done, and like I said, I gotta say, that entree, like the whole like surf and turf was phenomenal. I loved everything about it, uh, but it's time now for some desserts. And you know, I already talked about this Lion King dessert, which is so cool. I just, I literally get it just to take a picture of it. But now they have a 50th anniversary lemon meringue pie, and this looks good too. And it has one of those little Madeline cakes in it, some graham cracker cookie, lemon basil sauce, lemon basil sauce sauce huh lemon basil lemon basil I don't think I've never had lemon basil sauce in my life I've never either you're about to yeah we're doing it big we're day. doing it big day here in big day Florida. and the coffee's gone that coffee, coffee did yeah the coffee was phenomenal I kind of want to keep this you know put it in your purse put it in your purse, put, it. Put it in your purse. So. <laughs> we're gonna actually split the dessert so we're gonna get one lemon one one Lion King one and then we all can just try like you know what I mean if it was just me I would just get the Lion King one because I love it that much but the lemon one kind of caught my eye here is the Lion King dessert and take a look at this this down here the Simba part this isn't actually on the plate itself they actually put it on there so it's a part of the dessert and it says remember who you are remember. remember and here is the lemon dessert doesn't that look so fancy and once again just like the Simba they put the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary logo on the plate and honestly if this is only for the anniversary then this isn't gonna be here much longer but this looks so good too it actually looks like a lemon kind of reminds me of the dessert they have over at Bull and Bear this looks I'm excited to try them both and then decide which one I like more Remember who you are. Remember. Remember. No. <laughs> it's the circle of life. Oh. Seriously, desserts are just so pretty. You don't want to destroy them, but you have to. You have to do it. Here we go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try the lemon now. Kristen said I gotta get the bottom piece. That's the way, huh? What's this little cotton candy green stuff? What is that? I think it's like a matcha tea cake or something. Matcha tea cake? Oh, oh no, don't wanna lose it. The moment of truth. That's a good dessert too. Oh, it's gonna be a close call. If I would have to choose, I think it has to go to the Lion King. Well, let me be the, let me Take be the, that last bite. Let me be the final decision. Oh, final decision, because you're just trying that one for the first time. Oh yeah, definitely Lion King. Definitely Lion King. I mean, this is a good dessert though. The plating though on this yeah, one. Yeah, the plating is great. I mean, presentation on no. both. Presentation. presentation. Simba, remember who you are. I love this plate though. What? It's the 50th. Two lemony. <laughs> Two lemony? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is there's just a, a lot. Of, there's a lot going on there. There's like a nice like fluff to it. Yeah. It's good. It's good time. This is the way. Well, dinner at Tiffin's was exceptional. I really love the desserts. They're probably my favorite thing. Other than also the cola uh, demi glaze, that was fantastic. The whole meal was great. Now it's time to leave here, make our way over to Epcot, try to catch Joey Fatone. Hopefully we'll make it there in time. But if not, I seen it last night, but I wanted to show you guys and see if he has any other special friends joining him tonight. Like, I don't know if they change it out. He does four different shows, so you never know. I guess you never know who's gonna show up. Well, we made it from Animal Kingdom 
to the boardwalk. We figured it'd be faster to walk in here and then head straight to World Showcase. We're a little pressed for time. Uh, it took us a little bit longer than I thought. And the show starts in 25 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Holy moly. Are we gonna make it? We're not going to make it. We're not gonna make it! <laughs> we are just power walking through the boardwalk. No time. No time for boardwalk Joe's. Marvelous margaritas. We just gotta go, go, go. We're only here for Joey. We're, We're here Joe's. for Joey, not for Joe. <laughs> we have nine minutes to get from here to America and find a seat in probably a super packed theater. I'm gonna sit on Christian Patrick's lap. Chris Kirkpatrick? <laughs> we might make it. I think we're gonna do it. Nine minutes. You're gonna have to power walk. And by God, we did it. Look at that. One minute to spare. We made it to America. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We did it. 759. Holy moly. Joey for Tone and Friends. Look at that. Hey, how are ya? We made it. How are ya? Wow. You ready to sing a little one? Chris Kirkpatrick came out. So basically, that's half of NSYNC. Just no Lance Bass or JT. No JT. But we got JT right here. A taller Close version. Enough. A taller version of JT. And you're the, and you're the Joey Fatone. I'm the Joey Fatone? I'll take that. I'll take that. But also, I don't know if you guys noticed, Ryan Cabrera came out. And last night, Murr was here from Impractical Jerkers. I don't know if they're going to come back out. But they switch it out. It's never the same show. So I'm very excited. We're going to see who it is now.
Okay, well, that Joey Fatone show was fantastic. Chris Kirkpatrick came out. No more, though. Okay, well, that Joey Fatone show was awesome. Chris Kirkpatrick came out, so that's basically half of NSYNC, like I said. No Murr this time, though. I feel like they swapped them out. It's always different, but I loved it. I loved the different songs, and it was great to see my friend Chris with uh, LBV TV. We were dancing to Bye Bye Bye, and it's a really good show. I love the E to the B concert series. It's always so amazing that people you get to see. You know what I mean? Like, it's so crazy. And now we're going to watch a little fireworks, just probably the finale because that's my favorite part and then maybe uh, make our way over to the boardwalk so <laughs> And with that, I think we are done here today. It was really awesome catching a little bit of the tail end of the fireworks. Those are like my favorite parts of the fireworks, just those blasts alone. You know what I mean? And he, if you saw Chris uh, from LBV TV, he was standing there, he was live streaming it, and I was like kind of waiting to see if he knew like they were gonna be blasting off like right next to him, and he did. He ducked out of the way, so it was really fun. And uh, I mean, Joey Fatone was a great time. Chris Kirkpatrick, no mercy this time though a little sad about that but I do love myrrh and I had a great day I mean honestly overall Animal Kingdom and then over to Epcot that's pretty amazing like seriously it was such a fun day and I'm so happy that I was able to make a little video it was you know what I mean so I hope you guys enjoyed it I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye